Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with a Strauman tissue level solid abutment case and what you're seeing right now is my mock-up trial uh, removal of the uh, of the frozen uh, solid abutment that is uh, now within the patient's mouth. So before I show you that I'm working through this this case and came up with a protocol um, you know, obviously, uh, the f the initial attempt by the two dentists uh, had to do with using uh, Strauman's trial kit, or uh, excuse me, their their uh, screw retrieval kit. And this is uh, so these are some of the items that you'll see in the kit. Um, there are retapping devices here, or, t or what they call their their uh, thread cleaning devices. Um, there's an assortment of devices to to center the uh, this uh, un looks like a cork unscrewer type of uh, d design, a spiral shape instrument to actually remove uh, um, any loose fragments or anything that might be lodged. So uh, two attempts were made, um, one of which was with this kit. Um, and from what I understand, uh, you know, it was it was uh, unsuccessful. So today our alternative treatment is to do a drill out. And so by doing a mock-up, we're able to find out, well, there, what's the best path to take? Well, there's a hollow area beneath every solid abutment. And if you can reach that hollow area, you can at least free up the screw portion. So if you take a look at the design of the solid abutment. This is a used solid abutment, but just below uh, the solid portion of what they call the Morse taper, you can see that there's a zone, and it's not very long at all. It's about the length or the height of one thread. Okay, so that would have to be penetrated. And then once that's done, we can take this middle portion out by just thinning it, and then this hopefully the threaded portion will come out. Here's the remnants of that middle portion as I drilled through it and was able to retrieve that. I can't quite find the threaded portion right now. It's uh, somewhere in the office, but this is the implant fixture replica or the lab analog, and you can see there is a space between the, the top thread of the fixture and that of the surface of the Morse taper. So that's the zone. How do you reach it? You use a quarter round burr, and that's this size. So we're looking at a design of a burr, a diameter of a burr that's you know 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters. Uh, so we're we're now moving down to a smaller range. I've got to do some um, calculating first before I enter. Now I'm going to just take a pristine burr. Now we'll get that out quarter round pristine burr. Put that on our handpiece. This is a slow speed handpiece that has a reduction speed to it. And that's locked in. Uh, and it's got a nice reduced vibration as well. Okay, so we're going to take a look in the mouth. Um, you got a little breakfast in there? Yeah. Will do, sir. Yep. Take care of that for you. Alrighty. Go ahead and rinse that out. Much of what we're going to do today is slow moving, and so we may have to do a second recording for this uh, procedure. So 
So let's have a look. I'm going to try to put him in a little better position. Uh, using plenty of arm support, wrist support, when using a microscope. Here we go. So first thing I'm going to use is a long explorer. We're going to go inside and we'll clean that out. All right, we'll bounce this. Let's go ahead and rinse that now. That's good. This is chlorhexidine gluconate, or, or cavity soak, cavity cleanser soak. She's rinsing that out and then drying. And now I'm going to have a close inspection. So this is the prior access now. Open wider, please. Okay. Sometimes we'll have a bite block ready for patients to close on. Okay. Now there's a slight angle toward the mesial of the head, so it's got a distal, uh, more of a mesial tilt. So that's straight on. Now, in this case, pre soaking is pretty much futile, so we have to just go ahead and measure first. So we said before, it's just below, I want to say, three millimeters. So he's right at three right now. And um, I'll just make sure I'm in the center. Three millimeters, just, just shy of three. And if we look at our model, we're going to be just over three. So it's right there. We're just knocking on the door right now. So there you can see it. It's just, just past three. So that's that zone so I can just go to widthwise now and create this um, this path and we'll do it with our round burr. The other thing I want to do is try in a driver just to see if the diameter um, of a driver, you never know if I want to slot the other portion Let's see if that would fit. Just gonna check this first. Uh, might be able to slot that and turn it. Not much of a slot though to do. Not much of an angle. All right. to switch to a smaller mirror. So this is our micro mirror. It's about 11 millimeters diameter. There we go. I have to put a bite block in there. Okay, rest, rest, close and rest. All right, we're going to have him take a little breather here. We'll be back with the next segment.